been reporting on the alarming shortage of baby formula that has a lot of parents very concerned. Now we're learning all about how we got into this situation in the first place. Fox 12's Simon Gutierrez explains. Oregon Senator Ron Wyden announced this week he's launching an investigation into the company at the center of the formula shortage, saying that company focused more on profits than product safety. Around the country and here in Oregon, mothers with young babies are struggling to get their hands on the formula they need to feed them. Yesterday, my mother-in-law and I went grocery shopping and looking for formula oh. and I panicked and it was the first time I really, really panicked because usually I can find at least one of his cans. The shortage is because the biggest U.S. manufacturer of baby formula, Abbott Laboratories, had to close its Michigan plant in February and recall its products after reports of serious bacterial infections in four infants. Senator Ron Wyden, who is chair of the Senate Finance Committee, has launched an investigation into Abbott's business practices, saying the company spent billions on stock buybacks to boost the company's share price instead of making necessary repairs at its manufacturing plant. Up until this point, the plant has not been able to be reopened, and Abbott only has about two manufacturing plants in America. So when you shut down one plant, that's going to create a supply issue. Tiari Santa is director of the Oregon WIC program. Her office has been flooded with calls from concerned moms. A lot of tears, <laughs> a lot of tears of scared moms. Abbott has agreed to take corrective action, but will have to meet FDA food safety standards before it can resume production. The company has said it would take a minimum of six to eight weeks for new cans of formula to be delivered to stores. There's not much we can do other than try to help them figure out what stores have the formula available. So we're running reports and things and sending it to our local WIC clinic so that those uh, WIC clinics know what formulas are available in each store. Now, the WIC program has an exclusive agreement with Abbott, which means WIC participants can only buy Abbott products like Similac. Because of this situation, Oregon's WIC program got a waiver that allows parents to buy any kind of formula they can find. I'm Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon. And there is some relief that could arrive soon for families. The first flights of baby formula to the U.S. are expected to arrive stateside within days. Federal officials are putting the last touches on plans to ship supply from Europe as part of President Biden's invoking the Defense Production Act. The Departments of Agriculture and Health and Human Services are also seeking commercial jets to fly in supply from overseas. Well, the